In this video, I'll show you how to send emails with Cursor and the MailTrap MCP server so that you can start sending emails from your app in under five minutes without any coding skills. To get started, make sure you have everything you need. By the way, feel free to pause the tutorial at any time if, for example, you need to set something up. Node.js should be installed on your system. You also need Cursor Editor installed. And you're going to want a MailTrap account with a verified sending domain. There's a link to a tutorial in the video description. Finally, you'll want to have an API token written down for that domain. When you first add a domain, under Integration, you'll see a prompt to create an API token. Click Create API Token, and then your token will appear on your screen. You'll be shown your API token only once for security purposes, so make sure you store it in a secure place to access it later. If you don't have a stored API token, go to Settings, API Tokens, and reset or create a token for that domain. Just remember to save it this time, all right? All right. Ready? We can start connecting Cursor to MailTrap MCP. The first step is to open the MailTrap MCP GitHub page, also linked in the description. And under Quick Install, click Add to Cursor. This will open a prompt asking for your permission to open the Cursor app. Click Open Cursor, and you'll see the MCP installation prompt in the app itself. All you need to do here is complete these simple steps. Paste in the API token you stored earlier, add a default from email containing the sending domain that you'll be using, and copy-paste the account ID from the account settings in your MailTrap account. Just to be clear, the email needs to be from the domain, the domain needs to be verified, and the token needs to be associated with the domain. It all works together. Finally, you can click Install, and MailTrap MCP will be ready to use. Now the fun part. We can finally start sending emails. But before we do that, why don't you take a quick break, relax, click that subscribe button and turn on notifications. We have tutorials on how to send emails from Claude and a huge playlist on other AI tools. So don't miss out. Hope you enjoyed your break. Now, back to our cursor editor. In the top right corner, click Toggle AI Pane. This will open a chat interface, which will allow you to instruct Cursor to send emails using the MailTrap MCP server. I'll type in a simple prompt telling Cursor to send an email to a specified email address, which, for the sake of this demo, is my own. Or is it? Spammers will never know. Then I'll add a subject like, Hi John, and ask Cursor to create a message wishing John a great day. And then click Send. In a few seconds, you should see Cursor specifying the MCP tool it's using, which in this case is Send Email. You'll also see the parameters it'll use for the email, such as the recipient's email addresses, subject line, and body. If you like the message and everything seems in order, you can click Run Tool. The success message should appear after that. Now let's go to the MailTrap email logs just to check that the email was actually sent. You can see it right there and we can view all of the email info and the text that Cursor generated for us. Just like that, you can send emails from Cursor with MailTrap MCP in only a few minutes. You're of course not limited in the number of recipients or the type of emails that you send. All you need to do is specify your requirements in the prompt. Apart from Cursor, MailTrap MCP also connects with Claude and other MCP clients. Wondering how to set them up? Glad you asked. We have a tutorial that demonstrates how to send emails from Claude with MailTrap, so why not check it out? I'll see you there.